One person said, it's like Stanley Henry has joined. That's it. That's, That's it. all it. That's all that is. Now, we're telling people right now that we're we on need. live. That's all we need. That's all um, we need. Claire's made us smoothies this morning. I hate these smoothies. What? I hate these smoothies. No, you don't. No, I do. No, I you hate. don't. Why would you say that? Because I hate them. But I have to drink them because they're good for me. We could make a baby smoothie. What are you doing? Why would you do that? What do you mean? I just dislike them. I just get to get them down as fast as possible. It's yummy. No. It's a yummy smoothie. No, it's, not. it's a yummy smoothie made with it's the love of Claire. It's not even close to it. It's not even close to it. What do you mean it's not even close to it? Larissa, no one eats Marmite. Marmite's for fucking baking. Anyway, Divine. Good morning. What's up? How are we doing? I can't decide which drink I want first. I'm Ready to fly. Double, double parked. Beck, there's only one. It's only Vegemite. No one eats Marmite. No, Marmite is for fake Kiwis. Why are we even talking about that anyway? I just don't even understand. Well, you got to be in on the uh, things. The, mo the time is 9 a.m. We're not in New Zealand. We're in New York. Oh, New York, 9 a.m., New York, EST. All right. Is, are there things flooding in? Would you like me to? No, 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 go for it. All right. All right, we've got six minutes. We go straight in. We've so, got a funny story. So, guys, I, oh, I, I did not wear the right shirt for this, but I took my second skin off. <laughs> it's all good? Yeah, it's all good. It'll be fine. It's basically healed. Anyway, yeah, I, I took, took my second I took my second skin off and um, as you guys all are maybe aware, we got questions tattooed on us. And since we got these stupid tattoos, I thought we'd talk about people's worst tattoos from tattoo artists themselves. Because I'm pretty sure this is high up on what's her name's list, Sam's list. So Oh, I see Millie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, who the fuck's <laughs> Sorry, Sam. This is definitely high on Sam's list. So let's look at things that are high on other people's lists. All right. A guy I know has Roman numerals with his date of birth running down his forearm. The problem is when he went to get it, he wasn't allowed. You know, he wasn't old enough to get one. So he lied on the form he had to fill out. And as a result, he now has a tattoo with the wrong date of birth on his arm. <laughs> what a fuck <laughs> with what a fuck with. <laughs> Who would do that? I, I don't know. That is so dumb. Clearly. That is so dumb. You could have said it was someone else's birthday. You could have gotten away with it, you know? That is so dumb. Yeah, exactly. It gets worse. That's like the... the oh. that, it gets worse. Mm. All right. Ready? And here's another one. Which one? Oh. Oh, go. There you go. Yeah. He, I asked my artist this. He told me that years ago, some stripper came in looking to have vines and roses tattooed onto that, on, what? On that would come out of her butthole. Vines and roses tattooed that would come out of her butthole and curl up her back. He asks, why not just why get the... Why was that so hard to say? <laughs> well, it says... It says, wait, wait, it says... You just saw butthole and like, oh my God, butthole, fuck. No, look, that's not grammatically correct. Looking to have vines and roses tattooed on that would come on her butthole. Okay. And yeah. 
<laughs> and curl up her back. He asks why not just get the roses on her back and butt, but she insists it must come out of her anus. <laughs> he reluctantly does a tattoo for a high price and he said it, and said it looked pretty good too. But curiosity got the better of him after a while and he asks why she insists on having it come out of her butthole. Her response was both the strangest and smartest reasoning I could have heard for such a tattoo. She would dance and she figured the guys would ask, hey, how far does the tattoo go? To which she could say, for 10 bucks, I'll show you. So the dudes pay up a 10 and then she shows her asshole real fast and then done deal. She's richer and they looked at an asshole. My tattoo artist is not proud of that job. <laughs> she didn't need the other asshole to still do the same thing. Like, I guess because she's in a G, I suppose. Oh my God. Insisted it came out of her anus. That is just the best. People are stupid. Um, Beck said before, um, <clears throat> weird flicks to get your own birthday tattooed on you in the first place. <laughs> I always find that real funny too. Like, um, And I probably at one stage thought it was cool, but like people who get like their last name tattooed on their back, you know, it's like, mm. it's like just in case you forget your name or something, you know, just so that when you get found, lost and found, when you got dementia, <laughs> you're like... No, bro, it's there. It's right there. That's who I am. But, like, people have, like, family badges and stuff. Yeah, right? I mean, this is cultural and family-driven, yeah. but it's a little different when it's... Your name. Your name, I think. Uh, I guess it's not, but it still feels like it's different. I mean, if you're, like... What's it called when you're kind of really into, like, your family, like, lineage and your legacy and... It's probably like a legacy thing that was instilled in them. They're like, yeah. yeah, it's just family pride, I suppose. But it's still just weird. Because Alistair gets worried that if we don't have kids, then like the Lee name will live on. They'll live on. And I'm like, and I was like, do you Bro, know how many Lees? Do you know how many Lees there are? <laughs> Bro, there's at least 50 million. <laughs> <laughs> like, there'll be like someone called John Smith being like, my name's going to die out. <laughs> Bro, you're sweet. Oh, man. Is there anything coming through? Someone said, um, wait, did you guys decide on the tattoo design? Man, it's so crazy how people are I so know. far behind it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. It's done. I'm going to actually keep least, my like, jump sleeve on our up. Account and watch all the videos. I'm going to keep my sleeve up. I would up pull so my pants down, but people probably won't be okay with that, so I'll just yeah. keep them on. I don't think anyone would be okay with it. Uh, oh, for those of you asking, we're in US until December, early December, and uh, we've been here for, what, 12 days now? Days there you go. It's going to be out the whole um, show because I'm assuming people will have similar questions over and over again. For the guy who asked if we had the tattoo design, that's the tattoo. It says question. Do we like Vegemite? Yeah. Yep. No Vegemite, but I'm not sure why you're asking that question. Um, I don't mind Marmite on some days because, like, it's a little bit sweeter. What, like, do I gravitate towards one or the other? No, I don't really care. And just slap it on like tar, no butter, just toast, and a really nice thick layer of um, Vegemite or Marmite. Don't I discriminate. don't know why people keep what, where the, mar the Vegemite. Yeah, I'm not sure why, why this is... Talking about oh, because they're trying to start our yay or nay section. Oh, yay or nay. Yay or nay. Vegemite, yay or nay. Yay. Yay every day. And I would say Marmite yay. Yeah. I like them both. Yeah. Marmite's... I used to like Marmite when I, like... I would have Marmite. <laughs> I'd have Marmite on, like, a twisty sandwich. Twisties like the chips? Yeah. So like... So when I was a kid, mum would make me marmite sandwich. White bread. Butter. Butter, marmite. marmite and then a, a little fun-sized packet of twisties in the, in the sandwich. Put the things together. That was like a staple growing up. That sounds really yum. I kind of oh, want one. Oh, it was one. so fucking good. I kind of want one right now. Yeah. I used to do it with like chicken chips and stuff too, but twisties were the best. I do like a chicken chip sandwich. Yeah. Chicken chip sandwiches are so I'm good. I'm surprised you've had chip sandwiches but not chip buddies it's like 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 chip sandwiches are like the shit version of a chip buddy but it's crunchy it's different 
And that's, I know it's different. That's it's so saying. different. How is it the shit version? I think they're very equal. Nah. Nah, not even close. Yay or nay, guys? Are chip buddies hot chip sandwiches better or like crunchy chip sandwiches? Like crisps? Crisps. A crisp sandwich or a hot, hot chips? chips? Oh, no, for other people, it'd be like a fries sandwich or a crisps sandwich. A ham and cheese sandwich with Doritos. I would smash that. I would smash that. Oh, uh, it sounds okay. No, I'd smash that. That's like a, that's, that's, yeah, I'll do that. Crisps. I would say, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to go with. A crisp sandwich, only because I really like the crunch. I'm sorry, I, um, guys. Crisp sandwiches are delicious. I don't dislike them, but I'm always going to go for a hot chip sandwich over a crisp. If you offered me both right now, mm. I'm going for the hot chip sandwich. Why? Every day. Why? If I, I'm only allowed one. It's just hot and the butter melts and, it's, and it drips everywhere. And it tastes delicious. Yeah, no, I would choose the the, the crisp sandwich. Yeah, but it's the crunch. It's the it's the softness of when you bite into the bread, and then the crunch, like all of that in one go. It's like soft crunch, and then when you chew it, it's like you get it all over again. Love crunchy food. I don't. I don't dislike crunchy crunchy sandwiches. That's gross. Um. What is it? What? You gotta read the same out loud, Claire, so we can hear the comments. Mm -hmm. Pulls out. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's like, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the comment anymore. Guys, you gotta give comments for Claire to read out. She's sitting there just begging for a comment to read out to us. So give her something. Give her something nasty. Guys, someone's friend has teardrops tattooed on the sides of his middle fingers. And any time someone complains to him, he puts them up to his eyes and makes a pouty face. Wait, what? Say it again. <laughs> he has teardrops on the sides of his middle fingers tattooed. So any time someone complains, he puts them up and puts a pouty face. Goosey goosey. What a dick. That's funny. People, are, people have got dumb tattoos, like questions on their body. Yeah, imagine getting questions oh, spelled it, wrong it on your it. body. Imagine that. That would be ridiculous. Okay, what else? What else you got? Mm. Four kids in their early 20s came in. One of them lost a bet. He had to get a tattoo and he had to let the tattoo shop artists pick it. Um, being the wise lot we are, I shouted, unicorn with a dick for a horn. And my coworkers yelled, dick taco. His friends laughed and he was blown away by and just beside himself. His friends and him agreed to let him pick four of his own choices and put a number from one to six on all of the ideas and roll a die. Well, we had one of our best artists do an amazing unicorn with a dick horn on him. I'm just glad people still hold up to their end of the bit. A unicorn with a dick horn. I wonder how big that was. I feel like as like an ignorant tattoo, that's just standard. Or do you mean ignorant tattoo? Like Soggy's body. Oh. Ignorant tattoo style. That's like the style that all those guys in our office have. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That. Uh, a unicorn with a dick <laughs> torn is like just classic. I was really hoping. Questions. The questions tattoo obviously won and we got it. But my comment of having frogs and cowboy boots was pretty high up there too. What's that? For tattoo ideas. Like, yeah. we were going to get a matching tattoo, right? Yeah. And I commented, frog in cowboy, frogs in cowboy boots. It got quite a few likes. It was quite high up there. The questions didn't beat it. Well, I'm lucky it did. Because <laughs> that would have been a fucking stupid video. That would have been worse than questions. <laughs> At least I can justify questions. <laughs> like, I can justify it with, like, this is my business, this is what it's done, and whatever. A fucking frog with cowboy, <laughs> with cowboy boots on. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> It'd be sick. No? No. Nah, be an me. ignorant tattoo. Mm. Is there anything coming through? I feel like I can see heaps I, of comments on the side boring. next to you. It's all just Donald Trump asking if Sammy's got big enough 
course she's got bigger hands. She's a giant. Look at her. She's an absolute giant. You know what big hands means? <laughs> what, Janie? What does big hands I have mean? a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. This is why she couldn't get it on her thigh because there was just not enough room in the lens. Hey, what's going on? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's Jay's up? Himidoa. That's my nephew. My nephew's watching. That's cute. That's cool. I like that. In New Zealand, Australia? Australia. Nah. They need to compare hand sizes right now. Nah, Donald Trump's got a fetish, I think. Yeah, that's Donald, weird. We should probably just kick Donald yeah, Trump out. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway. Okay, that's all my tattoo stories. I do... I want to talk about the fact that um, you and Claire are getting married very soon. Yeah. You got engaged, you put a fat a rock on her days. finger. It's 100 days. It's been today. crazy. What has, wait, 100 days until the, are you disclosing this information? <laughs> what? 100 days since you proposed? Oh, or no. 100 days? Well, we yeah, but it's already out there. Oh, okay. Okay, I was just making sure. No one okay. knows anything. No one knows anything. Where All right, is cool. Where is. Yeah, so 100 days till San and Claire get married. What has been... I love how you just, like, made it an even bigger deal than it needed to. <laughs> wait, wait. Stan, Stan, are you disclosing that information right now on the live to all these people? <laughs> Fuck yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, So what has been the most fun part about the whole engagement process and... Everything you guys being in, being engaged, being fiancés. What's the be, what's been the best part? For me, mm -hmm. uh, the best part for me about being engaged is uh, oh, there's not really anything else except for Claire being happy, really, because it's more for Claire than like you know what I mean. Like the engagement piece is like her piece. It's like where she gets to go do dresses. Or okay, what's your piece? Doing the proposal. So how was that? Oh, yeah, the proposal was epic. I mean, I was fucking petrified. I wasn't even petrified because I wasn't sure she was going to say yes. Like, obviously, I knew she was going to say yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. Yeah. We wouldn't have been there. Yeah. Um, yeah. This isn't the 20s. Um, but, well, it is the 20s, I suppose. It's not the 1920s. <laughs> oh, God, That's way. crazy. I'm so old. Um, yeah, so the, I mean, the proposal for me was epic, and I cried a whole lot doing it. And I was yeah. nervous. I, I was more about nerves, like, because it was like no one knew I was doing it, mm. especially Claire. You didn't tell, like, mom or no, anything? No one knew. No, no one knew. knew. The only person who knew was the jeweler. Yeah. That's the only person who knew. Yeah. And then, um, so it was like a massive weight on my shoulders. That I was waiting to do. Yeah. And then so like when you have that much weight on your shoulders to do something that you know is a big important decision, right? Like it just weighs on you a lot. And then so when I did it and had it done, then it was like I could like I could let go. And then because of that, all the tears came. Was there any like slight fumbles when you were about to propose, like leading up to proposing to Claire? Like you know, like maybe it was. Um... Oh. Oh. Wow. Um, hey, long form. We just got kicked Why off our live. Oh, because I said I have a huge cock. You reckon? Do you want to start again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sweater yet yeah, for saying that I've got a massive penis <laughs> that we can't look at. Donald Trump's fault. <laughs> 